Today should be a fun day. I'm all packed up and ready to go. I have my motor in here, out of the wind, locked away. It's kind of nice for traveling. I'm meeting my friends in Charlotte, which is about a three hour drive from here. And we're gonna go flying around and hooliganism and stuff. And there might be media there, I'm not sure, but we're doing some sort of commercial for Resurgence PPG. I don't know. Look, they asked me to come. It's a friend, so I said yes. I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Anyway, see you soon. Four hours of driving and we are here. I shaved. You notice it looks good, right? There's a mountain over there. You probably... Action cams, they're so terrible, right? But there are these rock faces and they want us to get these like picturesque flybys against the rock faces. On the lee side actually, but the wind's so low I think it'll be okay. They're kind of doing the the layout of what they're hoping for now. There's a media crew and a camera crew and stuff like that. I don't know. I thought I was just here to do hood rat things with my friends, but we'll do what they need to and try and make a win out of this. Paramotor media shoots are not the most high class affairs. This is what passes for craft services. So I'm doing kind of a no wind crosswind launch, which in itself is kind of tricky, but to add to it, everybody's watching. Like there's a lot of pilots I don't know and like camera crew and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to mess it up. Full tank of gas adds to it. I think I'm psyching myself out. I'll be fine. Uh, given the choice, I wouldn't have such a narrow slot to hit on my crosswind launch. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna let the other pilots launch and uh, then they want me to do like some hood rat stuff, some foot drags and things for the cameras. formation pass on this side of the mountain and Ross and Mark are scouting it out now checking for I think it's on the lee side but the winds are so light that they're not concerned about it uh, they seem to be doing okay so I'll go there next and see what I think too I would guess this is as bad as it gets, and it's nothing, as it just comes right over the top here. But I don't feel anything at all. There are no outs, so I really hope my motor's reliable. <laughs> Yeah, so now I'm just taking another pass a little lower, make sure it's safe. And then once I like the wind here, I'll go up high so I don't linger in a place with no landing, no landing zones, no outs. So we've been doing lap after lap, kind of practicing for the photographers. I think they're actually in place for this, but I'm doing a stack right now. So uh, it's really just I use my brakes and then sometimes speed bar with no brakes to 
keep myself right where I want to be. For my money, Todd's a little to the right, <laughs> but it's all good. pretty good from here. We've had some closer uh, formations, but, but not bad. Alright, I'm going to turn right do it again. So, we're doing this for a little bit. It looks like we're done the, you know, work part of this. And now I'm just getting some altitude, getting jiggy with it. Let's have a good time. There's so many pilots around. You really have to make sure you don't hit anybody. But, wingovers and barrel rolls are a blast. Fun stuff. Let's get some altitude and play with the, the boys. So I didn't actually have my camera on when Mark Honeycutt and I did our synchronized spiral. This is maybe our fourth one ever, something like that. And we're trying to get to the point where the wings actually touch. I've seen that done on YouTube and it looks really cool and a little sketch, but good times. And I don't know. I don't even know if we'd want to do that. I've just seen it done and it looks kind of cool. Maybe over water. But this is us going around synchronized spiral. I also did a couple of sats, but I didn't have any footage for it. But that's fine. You guys have seen me sat repeatedly. Um... Hopefully, we got some footage of that flying. Maybe my friends have footage they can help me with. Now, we are all on the road to Chili's. We're gonna eat together. It's gonna be good. Oh yeah. So, these were cautionary signs to let people know that filming was gonna be going on. And I happen to have enough signs for each pilot. All so right. Each one of you guys gets to take one of our signs home. Oh, that's awesome, man. Sure you wanna keep it for future stuff? I've got one of my own and we're good. I like how he, so. he just kind of thought about it. He's like, oh, okay, take it back. <laughs> yeah. no. I, like the line, back. I like the bottom line. No, I, so. Watch your step as you look to the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Gunslingers. All right, so that was Chili's. That was awesome. He's gay. I'm a little gay, I guess. <laughs> and uh, now I have a three plus hour drive home and I'm starting at 1120, so long day. Well, it is 2 a.m. I'm home, safe and sound. Strangely, wide awake. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. All I need to do is unload the truck and then go to bed. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a pretty good day for me. I like making it. So I grabbed a little footage that Ross took. Forgive the vibration. I think he touches his paramotor when he films a lot and doesn't know it, but back on topic. This was for Resurgence PPG. We did this media event where like some newspaper reporters and I think they're filming a commercial. I'm not exactly sure. I just know my friend asked for help, so I did it. But at the dinner, he told us about the difference that it had made so far. So I did a video and then Aviator PPG promoted them some and they got a sizable donation. So they got two more people to learn to fly. And I heard their stories and I thought I'd share it with you because it was pretty interesting. One of the guys... He fell off uh, like a, a vehicle. I'm going to call it a Jeep, but I'm sure it was a Hummer or something else. And he hurt his back like a little bit. You know, it just wasn't quite right. And then he went home back to the States afterwards. His back still does not 100%. And the doctor stateside, something went wrong and he got paralyzed. He's, now he's a paraplegic and that's, that's final. So he's kind of dealing with all the like physical adjustments that he has to make and kind of the depression that goes along with it. And learning to fly, you know, a little sunshine, camaraderie, and accomplishment is going to be part of how he gets better. There was another guy, uh, IED, lost part of his leg, and the other leg is still there, but it's like atrophied and damaged. He's going to fly too. So they're doing some really cool stuff, and I'm proud to be just a little bit associated with it. It's neat. Link in the description if it interests you.